Hey guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share. In this video, we're going to solve this question from physics, and now let's read the question. A 50 kilogram athlete running at speed V grabs a light rope that hangs from a 10 meter high platform and swings to a maximum of 1.8 meter above the ground. So we can see that there is an athlete with a speed V, 50 kilograms, and then he is running like in this situation. And then he hangs up. The maximum height over here is 1.8 meters from the ground. And then later, a 100 kilogram athlete running at the same speed, so running at the same speed as 50 kilogram athlete, V, he grabs a similar rope hanging from a 5 meter, so 10 meter and 5 meter above platform. And what is the maximum height to which the 100 kilogram athlete swings from the ground? Okay, so in this situation, we can actually use the energy of con the conservation of energy or the energy conservation. Okay, um, because an athlete swinging can be considered as a pendulum. We know that the pendulum's maximum height is the point at which it changes direction, so probably over here, which means the velocity is equal to zero. And in this point, for the mechanical energy conservation, all this kinetic energy over here is transformed to the potential energy in the maximum height point. Similarly, when the pendulum is at its resting position, so when the athlete grabs a rope over here, then its energy is totally kinetic. And therefore, because there would be the conservation of energy in this situation, we can say that 1 over 2 mv1 square, which is the kinetic energy, is equal to mgh max, which is the potential energy. And in this case, if we solve for h, we're going to have cancelling out m and 2g and v1 square on the top. And as we can see, you can see that uh, g over here is con is a constant, right? It is 9.8, about 9.8 for everything. And the only thing that could possibly change or affect h max, the height, is the v1 square, which is the initial speed of the athlete that is running towards this rope. But in this case, as we can see from the question, it is given that the 100 kilogram athlete uh, runs at the same speed with the 50 kilogram athlete. So therefore, we can conclude that the maximum height over here is independent on the mass and on the length of the rope because the only thing that could affect or possibly change uh, the H max is same. And therefore, the athletes would, the both athletes would have the same height because they have a same v1 square. And therefore, as we can know from the question that the 50 kilogram athlete reached a maximum of 1.8 meter above the ground, it will be the same for the 100 kilogram athlete, and the 100 kilogram athlete would also reach 1.8 meters from the ground. So this is the answer. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.